These kind of shadows are important because they will establish the surface upon which these guys are sitting. Then we have the background, the green background, which comes in around here. Now there's the difference between the, the back of the green uh, part of the still life and the front here is that this part is parallel to the picture plane. So we'll put that in there as a single, or almost a single tone. And this part here is actually uh, not parallel to the picture plane, so this is going to be a blend. So we have to make this into a blend, and I'm going to start that blend here. This is more to tell me than it is to show you as a reminder that I'm making this into a blend. And this is uh, my first hint at what I'm going to see in the final product. Light here. Okay, and I'm going to leave this tone, although I'm going to make this darker. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later because it's easier later. So this is probably enough of a drawing for me to work from. And from here on out, now I'm going to start dealing with actual colors. Now, when you make colors, there are only three variables, there are only three variables to any mixture of any color. The first one is the color itself. What color is the object? In the case of this cup, we've got a, a sort of a blue-green. And so I'll mix that blue-green. The next thing we want to think about is the value of the color, and that's sort of a light blue-green, so we'll mix that. And we want to know how pure that color is. Now, a color is pure when it comes right out of the tube, and the color is not pure when its complement has been added to it. So we're going to start with that uh, blue. And I've got a blue here and a green here, and we're going to mix that right up in front of you. I'm going to start with a little white, because I can see that that's going to be a light one. All colors are influenced by the colors around them. All my first colors are going to look too dark because they're against a white background. For this reason, I recommend you paint everything once before you paint anything twice. Then check your colors. OK, now I'm, I'm looking for the middle uh, color. In most cases, the middle value is the value of, uh, that shows the actual color. The highlight and the shadow are usually neutralized versions of the color. And I think I need a little more blue in this. Uh, maybe not. Let's try this on, see if this is it. Um, that's all right. We'll use that. Now, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to do a little bit of a light version of this. So I'll take some of this color, lay it on the side, bring out some whites, and make a lighter version. So the places where that's lighter, I'm going to lay those in now. And we're just sort of placing the colors where we see them without getting too fancy. I'm using a big fat brush to do this. I see a little bit of a light coming through here. 